right, you guys. This is the cleaning portion of the video, the uncensored portion. This is that beautiful hog she just killed. And unless it's a big bar, which is a, a boar that we castrated, a big fat sow like this is as good as it gets. You made a great shot. And so pick out a knife that you like. All right, let's go with the middle one. Okay, that's actually a really cool knife. That's one of my, that's what, you guys never see me use this, but you know what, because you picked that one, I just so happen to have two of them. Uh, that's a brand spanking new knife also. Now, let me show you guys, how many of you guys watching the video right now have never cleaned a hog? Raise your hand. Eee. Oh, Lukey's never, Jake's never. No, I have. If you guys wonder, how I learned, I learned by just hanging out around the skin and shed whenever I was their age. Hey That's... Luke, Luke, look at me. Have you ever cleaned a hog before? Yeah, my mom would. Uh, when I was a little kid, I used to clean the hog. Yeah, we cleaned <laughs> yeah, clean the When he was a little kid, y'all. <laughs> okay, well, Jake, if I'm doing it right, let me know. But Lauren, I'm gonna get things started and then I'll show you places that you can help. First thing you wanna do, Actually, I'm trying something new here. I actually taught, instead of using a tendon, I made a loop here, so hopefully that works. Lukey, come right around there. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wring these legs, just like that. And then just, just like that. The old gut hook worked pretty good right there. I very seldom use a gut hook, but I know a lot of you do. So, Lauren, what is your favorite thing? Like, what do you really enjoy in school the most? Like, what are you most interested in? I, I like engineering. Engineering? Yeah. I, like engineering I knew that. Too. Once I get this done, Lauren, I'm gonna get you in here and you're gonna start helping me. Well, that really did work better than I expected. Really? That gut hook? Yeah. Now. Jake, you wanna take Luke back over to yeah, Grandma Yeah, take Luke back over to Grandma and Grandpa. Come on. See how we've made two perfect cuts? Now, right here in the belly, Come in here and cut from the inside out, just like this. And this will flip right over the back. Like now, a, like a convertible. Like a convertible. We just turned this cell hog into a convertible. See how we freed everything up? Now come here, Lauren. Now it's time for you to start getting your hands dirty. Okay, you guys, drop a big thumbs up if you think she should do, just get in here. All right, what let me show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna grab this right here with your knife and you're gonna start like, see how I'm sort of cutting the meat, cut the meat from the skin, the skin, just like that. Hashtag, just like that. Aubrey, have you ever done this? Uh, okay, Lauren, you're not trying to cut through the skin. There you go. And look, choke up on your knife choke up on your knife and typically I put my pointy finger right on top of the knife that gives and then you're like pointing at what you're doing. Okay, pull down. You gotta pull real hard. How do you like that? Pretty snazzy. Undressing that old girl. There you go, good job. So what does it feel like, Lauren? Tell everyone at home what it feels like. It is not like cleaning a fish. Okay, so what about the people who haven't cleaned a fish either? Uh, I don't know what it feels like, but... <laughs> it's different. There you go. Well, I'm going to take this right here. Just oh, okay. Always grab that hide, sort of roll it around. And then this is gonna come down, come down here. Okay, now 
This is the part where we say goodbye to the head. If you go on a silverstag.com and go to the deer meat for dinner page, that is something I don't think I've ever shown on my channel. That's my combo set. That's my boner and my skinner. And it's pretty epic little combo. Now, Lauren, you're getting, away to, getting ready to go away to college, so I want you to learn a few things here. Now, on this hog, see that meat right in here? This pork belly? If we were to cut this out, on a big domestic hog, that big fat pork belly would be about this thick, and then they would cure it, and then slice it, and what you'd be left with, bacon. Hmm. Now, wild hogs, they live in the wild, and they work for a living, so they don't get real fat like that, like a domesticated hog does, so that's really not good for anything. Now, I'm gonna do one, and then I'll show you how to do one. Sounds okay. good. So what you're gonna do is, you, I pull on a leg like this and start right here, and you, it's gonna take a little bit of work, and you, you see how the ribs run along through here? There you go. See how there's no bones connecting the shoulder to the... It's crazy. Isn't that? That really crazy. is a wild hog shoulder. And then I'll set them in here, and there's a joint right there. That will cut that off. And you're left with a nice shoulder. Pull the knife across the meat. There, there you go. go. Perfect. See, hold on. See this? So you're going to cut into here and sort of cut along that rib cage. There you go. Good. Good. Perfect. Now, see, Tonight. there's a bone here, so now you're going to sort of start rolling it out this way. There you go. A little more to your right. There, you, perfect. Now you're getting it. Okay. Perfect. Keep, Keep going. Choke up on your knife a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Okay. There you go. S kind of straight down. You're Hot. cutting into the backbone there. So, so I, here, I this is really this? cool. I know a lot of you actually try doing this for the first time, and so I've done it like a gazillion times. So I, I don't know what someone that's doing it for the first time would do. Come so, yeah. so Let look. her come to the top, Robert, and cut down from the top. Come over to the right side. So see the indentation? That's the top of the spine. Oh, got it, got so it. So now you're going to cut right like that. There you go. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Nice shoulder. And you got about half a back strap in there, so you're <laughs> gonna, gonna be really excited. That. I was gonna say that. I was like, you're killing the back strap. <laughs> if you just came over to my house and I cooked up a pork shoulder, it would be like, okay, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But the fact that that you have you were there, we stalked the hog. Um, yeah, when we cook this, it should when be we better. cook this, it will be like you will be so connected to it. Farm to table. That's why I tell everybody. If you kill a deer, clean it yourself and I guarantee you it tastes better. Now here are our back straps. On a piece of beef, that would be the considered a New York strip. On a wild animal, we call them back straps. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'll kinda outline this. Come down here just like this. Just like that. And then you've got your spine. You're gonna come right down the edge of the spine. Just like that. And so there's your outline. Now, I'm gonna show you how I cut one and then you're gonna cut this one. So now on the opposite side, I'll come right down the backbone, just like that. And then I use my thumb and I just roll that, that muscle out of there.
And then I like to just pull on the, I like to pull on it because it sort of creates tension and it gives you a way to cut it out. Now you have a beautiful wild hog backstrap. The difference with what I want you to do, I want you to come in here like this. I'll actually get it just to the edge there. Now I want you to follow this outside edge, follow those ribs, choke up on your knife, put your finger right there and follow that in. You won't cut yourself. Yeah, Thanks you won't. That. So hold on. I'm going to show you how to position your hand. Put your fingers on the back side of the spine and then you have control of everything. There you go. Okay. That's pretty good. Now just keep on going all the way down. Okay. Stay right Perfect. on the outside good of the... Job, Perfect. Run your hand down now. Keep following it down. Hey, I hope you're thinking about how you're going to cook this because you're cooking me dinner. Oh boy. Not tonight. Keep rolling down. There you go. Pull that knife through and across the meat and let it slice it. There you go. Good job. Good. Okay, now you're good. Now come back up here and use this and disconnect this so you can start pulling it down. You use a knife. Oh, okay. Your knife's so much sharper than your thumb. I mean. There you go. As in. Yep. Oh, okay. There okay, okay, I got it. And that's going to start coming on down. If you guys are new to this, have someone hold the darn hog for you or your, or the deer. Like this? this is there, now you got it. Just how you're doing. Good. Now choke up with your hand up here. There you go. Now pull that general into you. There you go. And keep cutting. Got it. So, what do you think? Wasn't that hard. That's awesome. That's a good job. Nice back strap. Right in there on the ice. There you go. These are your tenderloins. On a piece of beef, those are your filet mignons. So I cut one right there to 45, and I cut one right there to 45. Then I follow the inside of that backbone right there, just like that. Now, I'll do this side. Same thing, you're just gonna... Cut that tenderloin one right out of there. So look, so and obviously this is attached. Right. So you're gonna cut that and sort of roll that right out of there. Oh no, not right there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well there. This is good? Yep, yeah, perfect. Go up to the very top and get the whole top disconnected. And obviously if you're trying to cut through bone, you want to remove your knife because you're not going to cut through bone. Yeah. Just slide Here around the knife. Oh, this so is right there. Okay. Good. There you go. There you go. See how easy it is when you're not trying to cut through bone. There you go. Perfect. Good job. And now you see how there's a lot of that fatty material on there and whatnot. You just take your thumbs and throw that in there. Now, if this was real cold, that would actually happen a lot easier than that. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these, these ribs out. Typically, you don't whack on things with your, with your skin and knife like that, but I ain't got a choice right now. Is what it is. Yep. We will individually fry each one of those. Come in here. We're going to dejoint these ball sockets. This is definitely the toughest part for a beginner. Come in here. You want to go right down the center line and then angle over out of 45. 
See how I cut that out right there? That happened perfectly. You're gonna come down the back of this. There's a bone that sticks out here. And you're gonna follow that right around like that. This is not gonna be easy for you, but I got faith. Now, there you go. Is that okay to start? Yeah, good. Now, it's very important just to cut hog. Don't cut Lauren. <laughs> and if, that's good. Keep going. There you go. Come on around it. Come on down to the center line. There, there you, you go. go. Good. Come on down. Come right down to the back against the backbone. Good job. Good. Now, stop for a sec. Now, now look on the inside of where you were just cutting and start disconnecting that. Going up yep. or down? Either down. way. You're gonna, there you go. Remember where that bone is. There you go, perfect. Back your left hand out and use the knife and just reach in there and cut that. Good. That's fine. Go ahead and cut down. Cut down. Keep cut going. down. Cut, cut, cut. You're doing it. Whammy! You're accepted to MIT! <laughs> now, there you go. Is that okay to start? Yeah, good. Now, it's very important just to cut hog. Don't cut Lauren. Yep. That's good. Keep going. There you go. Come on around it. Come on down to the center line. There, there you go. go. Good. Come on down. Come right down to the back against the backbone. Good job. Good. Now, stop for a sec. Now, now look on the inside of where you were just cutting and start disconnecting that. Going up yep. or down? Either down. way. You're gonna, there you go. Remember where that bone is. There you go, perfect. Back your left hand out and use the knife and just reach in there and cut that. Good. It's fine, go ahead and cut down. Cut down. Keep cut going. down. Cut, cut, cut. You're doing it. Now you see why I tied these feet up here so they didn't go flopping and flailing everywhere. This is probably a pretty long video, but if you think she did a good job, or if you're just proud of her for trying, drop a big thumbs up. I know this is an uncensored, unmonetized. This video is 100% for y'all. And because the Christmas season is right around the corner, please, if you're gonna buy a Silver Stag knife, don't wait till December 15th because we will be out of stock. They're handmade and we can't make a million of them. So, Mr. Brad Smith over at Silver Stag called me and said, Rob, things are getting tight. So if you're gonna buy a Silver Stag, go ahead and do that. I'm not telling you to, I'm just giving you the heads up. I love you guys. Take care, God bless, and we are gone!